At least you get the elemental punches here. And here's why I need the other fairy doll for. Right, had everything but the balloon. Okay, I'll get the balloon later, I'll just contain the story for now. Basically, it's the department store sticker you get from helping that kid out. Or humoring him. Okay, that's a dead end. There we go. Yeah, it gets a little more elaborate as time goes on. At least missed it would be a good dragon check. Wait, knocked into a rock? That's the first time I've seen something like that.
at least Mystic's catching up pretty well. <clears throat> Say what? Surprise, motherfucker. Well, at least it's just a Gumi. If it was a Gudra, I'd be screwed. I mean, this person is clearly insane. Oh, now the black sludge is hurting me because... Damn it! Why did it take me that long to catch on to that? <clears throat> Bruh! At least you can make a shortcut like that. And thus, his lies been exposed. And now I got another floor of the department store unlocked. Though it will be a while before I can actually go back there.
Oh crap. I need to stop the thing I can knock you out one hit. I'm going to need another crossbow before I go across there. Okay, it's here. Inside that cave, can't even go in there. Before you find a Reaper cloth here. So long, I'm surprised to see you. Welcome, welcome. Make yourself at home. I'm glad you're here. You can finally meet Tanya. Hmm? What's that? You have news from the circus about a gate? <coughs> <coughs> I heard what was going on. I was thinking about doing some digging, but well, I was still recovering from that attack at Black Stream Factory. Black Steam. I just finally had time to get back in action, though. So what's this lead? A meteor agent coding type to that's a T Ace Toll spell. If what Ace said is true, and with them, who knows? 
Had to win and join after I've been looking into Borelius, so I don't think I could have found anything about them already. But they're supposedly operating somewhere nearby? Hmm, it's funny, isn't it? Titan sounds so similar to Titania. No, it can't be. I mean, like I said, the furthest I've been at this point is when you do the dull bow in this area against the Meteor Grunts, or Solaris with his guard chomp. <laughs> so I already know about Titania a bit. But there's no way she would choose a name so close to hers. That's just stupid. That's probably just coincidence, right? What's a coincidence? Oh, hi, Tanya. Tanya, this is the beer I told you about. Beer? Titania. Hi. Ignore the mess. We weren't expecting company. So you were talking about me? I was just telling Vero how you take such good care of me. I'll keep doing my best thing about what we talked about. Like recovering all that. Uh-huh. This seems to be a day for surprise guests. <clears throat> yeah, we just chanced on Tanya's little brother not too long ago, too. Tanya found him on her way back when I asked her to go get me some cotton candy. She carried him back and was like, wow, that's some big cotton candy. He was sleeping face down in the dirt. Hardy was always a heavy sleeper. This is a new low. Huh? You're looking for Hardy? Well, he's right upstairs. Here, let's go. Nope, you're staying put. You need to rest. <laughs> okay. I think I might have cracked a couple of ribs after the incident with Solaris. But it'll be okay. I'm sure I'll be back in action soon. Up this way, Vero. Oh, she actually turns to watch Vero as he moved. <clears throat> Sound asleep. Let's get one thing straight. You're not going to drag her into this media business. Maria struggles with depression and self-harm on the regular already. She doesn't need any more trouble wearing her down, weighing her down on top of that. And this trouble is already looking for her. I'm not going to abide by you pushing her over the edge into the oncoming danger. You'll finish the errands you came for, leave her out of it, now move. The only thing that could wake up party of are acts of God and violence. Ow! What? Hmm? Tired. Ow, ow, okay, okay, I'm up already, yikes! Huh? Hey, sis. Should have guessed it was you from the smarting pain. And you're right, sup? I found you passed out on the ground. You what? Oh. Hey, where'd Aya go? Huh? She's at the circus? Aya? As she's a new poison leader. I was taking her up shore with my gym and I don't know what happened. Next thing I know, I'm here. Sounds like one hell of a first date. Boy, shove off. It wasn't like that. Aya's okay, right? I should find her. Well, my whole body's sore for whatever reason. I'm sure it had nothing to do with you facing face down the dirt. Beat sleeping here. I don't feel like bumming off my sister longer than I have to. Agreed. It's best if you go. Are you going to follow him or what? <clears throat> and now, breaking news with Gossip Garbor. And here's plot convenient news. Yeah, I kind of stole that line from another YouTuber. I'm not going to do it again. It was just perfect. Hello, Reborn. I'm here in Kassanon City with the Dragon Leader Sephira, with a sudden showdown just starting form. As most know, the cities of Kassanon and Labrador sit right next to each other, but in a sudden uprising, the evil organization Team Meteor has completely seized control of Labrador City. Most citizens were safely evacuated, but some are still being held as hostages. However, a resistance taking shape in Kassanon City. On far as some reborn strongest trainers. Sophia, what are your thoughts on this scenario? I'm not interested in negotiating with them. We'll find a way around the barrier, take back the hostages. That's right, Team Meteor is employing a special technology. My sources tell me the machine they use is called a pulse. And they hooked a Mr. Mime up to it, creating a massive force field around Labradora. It isn't their only one. We know that they're preparing a second pulse within the city. They have two more in the surrounding areas. With these mysterious machines zapping up their Pokemon's powers, there's no telling what they'll do next. Can anyone break the force field around Labrador? We'll have it to Resistance and Kassanon. 
stay tuned to find out. Love Gossip Garvor. The pulse. It's just like with that muck. Maybe we'll uh, go up there and help the resistance out. No. What do you mean, no? You can't just let Team Meteor do whatever they want. Don't get involved. It's better if you don't. <clears throat> whatever you say, sis. I'm gonna go find Aya. Peace. Is it really okay just let them do whatever they want? The less you're involved, the better. I know they're after the sapphire bracelets you gave me. I'm definitely never going to let them have them. But why would they want them? How should I know? Where did you get them? I was hiking around Casolia region a handful of years ago found him and found a hidden lake. <coughs> the ground was covered in ash, so I assumed there was just no wildfire nearby at some point. Bracelets were buried in the ash. So it belongs Okay, so it belongs to Laura Saphira's family. That's going to be awkward if they made they discover that. I still put them by chance so I took them with me. That's irrelevant. What matters is you keep them away and lay low. Well then maybe Vera can go instead. He's been crucial to defeating me here before. Do whatever you want. You're going to Castel Castellan City. You need to go through Elmtree Mountain. Which means you're going to need to surf. Coincidentally, we have a machine for that here. There's no point in giving someone the machine if they don't have the badge to use it yet. Oh yeah, you're probably need one of the circus leaders badge to use it. Didn't we get a promotion from in the mail? We did. I'm not sure why they bother saying a battle pass to two gym leaders, but here it is. <coughs> there you go. A gate circuit has an arbitrary system, so you can't face the sleeves without these passes. That one's for Samson. If you beat him, come back, we'll give you surf. Good luck, Bureau. We know you can do it. I'll do my best while we talk about too. Or resting, that is. At least now I could go back and forth easily between here. But since Samson's a fine type gym leader, I'm going to change my team up a bit. So I can't bring Sobek or Raisin into the battle because they'll be easily taken down. I'll get Mystic up to the low cap in terms of Fable because having a uh, fairy type be very useful. A Raptor of good. Same with Venusaur being the tank I'll need. Definitely not bringing Blissey, so... Maybe I could try Drift Bloom out. Oh, you catch Rhyhorn here, nice. Definitely not using Vanitas or Type Null. Definitely not using Skull. Impulse is a definite in. And so is Ryu. So I got two Psychic types. So I'm going to go ahead and grind up, then I'll be back with power of editing, or maybe I'll just end this episode off here. Yeah, I might just end off here and then continue. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you enjoy. And thank you for watching me if you do enjoy. If not, I'm most likely an idiot, which is nothing new really. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.